Hello Sage, welcome back to my channel. We are doing your next 48. This is episode for Sage 12 and May 12 and 13 for Sage, Sun, Moon, Rising and North Node. All right, for those of you who are wanting to learn how to read tarot, the classes will begin this Monday, May 13th, 2009. So make sure you get your seats. Um, if you want to take the master class, if you want to learn astrology, tarot, everything that I know, that class is going to be $26. But both of these classes will be starting on May 13th simultaneously. All right, for those of you who already signed up, I will see you in class. Okay, so let's see uh, what's going on with Sage, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node, please. What are the important messages for Sagey? Okay, let's see. Sage. All right, one more stuff. One more shuffle. Okay. Let's see. All right. Sage. Where are the important messages? Sagey. All right, let's go with this. Let's get it popping. We have the Six of Cups coming up, and we have the Queen of Pentacles. Let me get one more card. And we have the Five of Swords. We do have the we have the Knight of Pentacles showing up. Okay, so it looks like something in your past. Now, when the six of, when the Six of Cups comes up in the reading, especially when it's the first card, it tells me it tells me that this is, this is past energy. It already happened. So right now, what you are going to be getting is a backstory about something. So I'm getting you're thinking about the, thinking about your past. This could possibly because of all the retrogrades that we have. The past is on your mind. You're rehashing it. You're rehashing it. You're revisiting it. All right. So it looks like you're dealing with an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. And you want to get revenge on somebody? Because the, the five of swords to me, it's, it's revenge. It, it's spite. It's being vindictive. It's being petty. It's starting arguments. It's just, it's being very passive aggressive, a coward. All right? So it's, it's, you could have Aquarius very heavy in your chart because this is, uh, this is Aquarius energy. This passive aggressive spite, that's Aquarian. Okay? So maybe you have an Aquarius moon, Aquarius rising. All right? But it's almost like you want to spite somebody from your past or what they did to you in the past. All right, but this could be somebody looking at you. I'm not seeing your energy yet. All right, so I'm getting this to somebody on the, to somebody on the um, outside of you. This is not your energy. All right, so let's see. What's the five of swords? The five of swords, please. Five of swords. Okay, we have the five of cups. Yeah, so we have double fives, 55. This is fives represent change, obstacles, challenges. All right, so I'm getting somebody, if somebody is spiteful because they, they regret losing you or they, they regret what they did, they regret what they said. I'm getting somebody did something out of spite and now they regret that. Okay, so I'm getting you're dealing with an air sign. They can't let go of the past because they, they did something stupid. And I, I'm, getting, I'm, almost, I'm getting like somebody made a, a rash decision and it caused a very permanent outcome. All right, that's, what, that's usually what happens. Okay, what's the queen of pentacles? Because the five of cups in this deck, it's almost like somebody is not taking heed to warning. Somebody is not listening. All right. Somebody could even be mocking you, mocking your advice. But I'm getting now somebody is regretting that. And now they're kind of looking at you like, you know, with envy. Okay. What's the queen of pentacles? I'm still not seeing your energy yet. All right. What is the queen of pentacles, please? Okay. We have the six of pentacles. And what is the six of cups? We have double fives and double sixes. What's the six of cups, please? Double sixes is usually an indication of a reunion. Okay, what's the six of cups? Okay, the, hang, the, the hangman. All right, so I'm getting, okay, the work. So in the past, you could have asked somebody to work with you or help you or to assist you. Maybe you've been asked somebody to invest in your business and they did not do that. Now they are rethinking that because you're doing well, queen of pentacles. All right. Yeah, so I'm, I'm getting, you could have, you, it, this could have been a friend or somebody that you work with. All right, this could be somebody at your, at, at, your, um, at your actual job. It's like somebody did something at work to spite you or to, to, to disturb your pay or to, um, to interfere with how you get paid or how much you get paid, and that backfired. Now somebody is seeing the situation completely different. Okay, somebody's, ha somebody's having a paradigm shift. Okay, what is the hangman? This could be your, this could be you though. You could be realizing that somebody does not have your best interest. Somebody's, maybe somebody's only using you. All right, they don't really want to see you succeed. Somebody could be very spiteful towards you, jealous. And I'm getting to somebody, somebody does not want to take your advice. What's the hangman? Because I, I see you're, you're trying to change somebody's mind. Now the six of cups to me, those of you who are not dealing with past situations, the six of cups to me, it's also a TV. It's, 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 someone, it's someone who makes YouTube videos. It's someone who's on social media. These, these kids are watching something on TV. All right? If that's not you, it don't apply to you. All right? But, um, 
But I'm getting you're trying to change somebody's mind about something, maybe about social media, maybe about YouTube or using it, maybe even being in the public eye or something like that. But I'm getting somebody is like doesn't want to listen to what you have to say. It's like you don't know anything, whatever, shut up. But I'm getting they're going to end up regretting that because you, you know what the hell you're talking about. Obviously, the Ten of Pentacles, you're doing well. You are established. Now, this could be a Virgo that you're dealing with because we have Virgo here twice. So it could be a Virgo trying to warn you or trying to talk to you about money, about social media, but they're trying to, they're trying to open your mind, and, but I'm, I'm getting it causes, it causes a petty fight. I'm getting it is about money or establishment, family, work, all right? But I'm getting, I'm getting this person, this earth sign, is trying, they're, they're trying to help you. They're trying to help you get, they're trying to help you, um, whether it's monetarily or just spiritually, they're trying to change your mind or open your mind, all right? But I'm getting this leads to an argument. Now, this, this could be a situation where you are in a relationship where your spouse makes more money than you. And it's kind of it makes the situation very touchy, especially if you are a male and your the female's making more money. That can be a very touchy situation. Somebody's ego could get hurt. OK, somebody doesn't want to take advice because it's like, oh, what do you know? But I know a lot. I'm making money, obviously. All right. But if you're dealing with male energy, that could be a problem for them. They don't really want to listen to you. All right. What's the what's the hangman? Or this could be your mother. What's the hangman, please? But I'm getting somebody, yeah, justice. I'm getting somebody trying to open your mind. Someone trying to make you see things clearly. Someone is trying to help you become more balanced, help you manage your time, become more stable. All right? It's, um, I'm getting you are seeing it too. You're, you're, you are seeing somebody with new eyes. I'm getting it could be a Libra. All right? You're seeing this person with new eyes. You're having a paradigm shift about them, about how they run their business, about how they make money. But I, I'm, 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 I'm getting there's still some spite here. I'm still not getting any fire energy, though. What's, what is the justice card? I mean, what's the five of swords? So I'm getting either you're in somebody's business and you shouldn't be in somebody's business, Sage, or this is not about you at all. This is literally about somebody else that doesn't, it does not concern you whatsoever. All right, what's the five of swords? What's the five of swords? Okay, the nine of swords. Yeah, so there's somebody here that's worried. I'm getting, there's there's an air sign, Libra. Uh, I'm getting a Libra, uh, Aries, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There's an air sign. I'm getting, there's an issue from the past. It could be a, a justice, a, a, a legal issue, okay, from the past that you're, you're trying to see differently. You're trying to, maybe you're going back over paperwork or you're you're trying to see all sides. You're, you're, you know, or you could be even talking to a lawyer about this, discussing a lawyer about this, maybe discussing how to pay for a lawyer. But with the nine of swords here, it's almost like you're trying to figure out, you could be worried that you can't even pay for a lawyer. Maybe you spent too much money here, too much money there, and now you can't pay for this lawyer. You can't pay for this legal advice. You can't pay for this legal help. Now you need to ask for help and support. Okay, but I'm getting, it's like you're having a paradigm shift about money, about balance. Okay, what's the five of cups? About listening. Five of cups, please, about judging people. All right, so it's almost like you see somebody different because of what they're going through. And I'm getting somebody, you're getting a lesson about judging other people. All right, what's the five of cups? Yeah, I'm getting you misjudge someone or you misjudge, you misjudge a situation. Okay, what's the five of cups, please? Yeah, the, we, have, we have the king of cups and the two of pentacles. Yeah, so I'm getting there was a lot of fighting, arguing, bickering. So it's almost like you regret fighting with this person. You regret arguing with this person because you see how much they're, how stressed they are. You see what they're going through. You see how much they're struggling. You see how hard they're working. And it's almost like you feel bad about arguing with them, about being petty, about being spiteful, about being vindictive. Because the way that you're viewing this person now is like, damn, that was, not, that was so unfair what I did to them. Or that was really fucked up what I did to that person. But it's like now you're sitting over here worried about, you know, what's going to happen. Okay, what's the Six of Pentacles? Or this could be someone you're dealing with. Okay, you, you could have already dealt with this in the past. I'm, it could have been a divorce that already happened with the Six of Cups energy there. And now you're finally starting to realize what actually happened, what's going on. Now the scales are being balanced finally. So I'm getting you're finally realizing something. Okay, but I'm getting it's been a while since this happened. What's the Six of Pentacles? The Six of Pentacles? Yeah, the night, the night of swords. Yeah, overreacting about money, about attention, about what somebody is giving you, about what you're giving to someone. All right, I'm getting, I'm getting like somebody is help, somebody is helping you, but you, you just, I'm getting, you, I'm getting you kind of an asshole, Sage. I'm getting somebody is helping you. They're treating you nice. A king, a queen of pentacles, justice card. They're fair to you. They're nice. They're kind. They're generous. They give to you. They help you. And I'm, I'm getting you're just an asshole to them. 
Now that could be jealousy though. Maybe you're just, maybe you're just, maybe you're jealous of this person. Maybe you're jealous of the way they look, their money, their career, their, their attitude, personality, something. I'm getting jealousy here because there's nothing here that shows me the way you treat this person is, is, is kind of fucked up or the way that you treated them in the past. And I'm getting, you're realizing that now too. I'm getting this person is harmless or this is your energy, but I'm still not seeing any wands here. All right. So what's the justice card? Final card for Sage. What's the justice card? Justice. I'm not getting any, any passion or love. I'm getting a whole bunch of mind games and petty shit. Okay, but I'm getting it's not fair anyway. Whatever it is, it, it's it's you you're mistreating someone or you mistreated somebody. Okay, what's the justice card? The justice card, please. One more card. Yeah, the king of the king of swords. I'm getting a Libra. Very heavy. All right, but I'm getting you. I'm getting you are also talking with a, a lawyer, an attorney, somebody, a, a professional person. You could be dealing with two people. All right. But I'm getting you want to have a conversation. You want to be mature. The King of Swords is, is a platonic friend. It's maturity. It's intellectualism. It's professionalism. Okay. I'm also getting too. There's somebody here who's in the military. All right. So a situation is, is turning around. All right. I'm getting you're going to be very happy in the end. You're going to get some happy news here. I'm getting it's coming out of nowhere. Something, something that you were worried about. Don't worry about it. I'm getting it's going to get better. This, you are going to get justice here. You are going to have, it, it's going to be karmic balance with the situation. So if you've been all over the place, every, you, have, you have no idea what's going on. Your life is in fucking shambles. That's going to get better. If this is about, a, this is about an air sign that you're dealing with, they're going to get better too. They're going to come, they're going to, come to their senses. All right, so I hope this helps you, Sage. Don't forget to like the video, leave your comments, and subscribe. See you guys in class. Bye.